welcome back next three to four classes we will discuss about build triggers we will discuss why we need to do and how we need to do what are the different options we have to do and this is very very important topic every organization i can say 100 percent 100 percent companies will use this option they will use these options only why let us see this is our java project and related uh, git url is this one here i am doing one change i'm just instead of this i'm doing hello jenkins okay commit changes commit come here and make a build So 81 is in progress. Success. I'm seeing console output. Hello, Jenkin. I want one more change. I want to test one more change. Okay. Uh, edit. I just I'm just adding one more line. Okay, one more line. Just saying Jenkins is a CD tool. Okay. What I need to do again, I need to commit changes. And again, I need to come here. Again, I need to do this. See, I need to myself, I need to do the changes. And again, myself has to come and I need to trigger. If we won't trigger, then developers will ask us. Boss, I made a change run a build boss i made a change we, other member will call i made a change run a build if you developers has rights to run a build what they will do they will do the same they will edit they will come they will trigger edit trigger do you think it is possible no it is not possible we need to configure in a such a way that jenkins itself should make a builds automatically we need to configure in a such a way that we should not trigger build build should trigger automatically correct right jenkins itself should take the code from git and it has to build let us see how it is to test our changes, we can't go and trigger build every time. Correct, right? That's what we discussed because we will have some hundreds of builds. So, it is not possible to run each and every time. Okay. For that, we use this option. What is it? It is called build periodically. Okay. What will happen with this option? This option, we can schedule builds to trigger means we can schedule a build here up to now we did manual builds but here we can schedule schedule can be like anything if you need build every minute we can do every hour daily once nightly at around 12 or 11 weekly weekly only once like normally if you want weekly report we can use this monthly i need Every Sunday or Monday or both Sunday and Monday. Every month second I need. See, however you want, you can schedule a build. Jenkins will run. Definitely it will run. Okay. However, whenever you want, you can schedule it. And Jenkins will take care of the build. It is like the syntax. Okay, I will come. We will see where this option. First, we will see where this option build periodically. Go to the configure and see build trigger section. You have seen right? Build triggers. Here, what is our topic today? Build periodically. Build periodically. Okay, here we need to give syntax. What is the syntax? It is related to cron syntax means five stars it will be there 
okay we need to give syntax like this but what is this stars means stars means this is the one the first star represent minutes if you give star it means every minute second star represent hours means every hour third represent day of the month it will represent every day fourth one year month of the year means every month this one represent days of the week zero means sunday six means saturday so here we are saying we need every day every minute every hour we need build okay let us see that let us see whether it is possible as of now i am giving every minute okay every minute my build should trigger automatically got it right every min this means my build should trigger every minute automatically okay now come here this is the project java from git right see it is uh, it got triggered at see did we try, did we do any manual this one no it got triggered automatically before it was 82 83 build got triggered automatically how to know that click on this one started by what timer if you see this who started this okay see the 82 build console output who started this karthik means i triggered manually but who started this did i no jenkins itself got started because we scheduled jenkins jenkins go and trigger a build after a minute definitely 84 will come no no, no you don't need anything automatically builds will get trigger okay we will wait for a second see did we do anything no 84 also trigger automatically got it right in this way we will make triggers automatic trigger builds in the next class we will see much more about scheduling time means we will take a few questions on how to schedule different time thank you in the previous class we saw right why what is the importance of build periodically and how to schedule that now let us see few questions on scheduling a job okay this is the syntax every minute means my build should trigger every minute then we will give all stars okay good every hour means my build should start at every hour every hour means this one every hour means definitely all this will come but minute what what will come in place of star if you give star then every minute if you give star then it will be every minute but i don't need i need only once in a uh, hour means one time every hour then instead of star here you will give zero means every hour starting like exact at 12 exact at 11 this build will get trigger i need exactly at 11 exactly at 11 am so star we should not give what we need to give we need to give zero means it will start at exact level here if you give star every hour it will run no i don't need in that way i need only at 11 then instead of star what we will give we will give 11 yes daily i need that daily i need that so month and uh, uh, year every month and day every day i need that so i will give stars i need to run exactly at 10 20 
फोर ट्वेंटी एंड एट ट्वेंटी आई नीड टू माई बिल हेज टू स्कूल थ्री टाइम्स इन ए डे वाट दट टाइम्स टेन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी एंड एट ट्वेंटी एट द टाइम इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टार वॉट वी नीड टू गिव ट्वेंटी एंड हियर वॉट वी नीड टू गिव वी नीड टू गिव टेन मीन्स टेन ए एम फोर ट्वेंटी पी एम मीन्स वी शुड नॉट गिव फोर वी नीड टू गिव ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स टाइम फॉर मैट देन दिस फोर बिकम सिक्सटीन एंड एट बिकम ट्वेंटी सो वी नीड टू गिव हियर टेन कामा सिक्सटीन कामा ट्वेंटी got it right we need to give in such a way that 10 comma 16 comma and 20 okay 10 16 20 and minutes 20 means i need to start at 10 20 here zero means exactly at 11 but i don't need exactly at 10 i need at 20 minutes so i need to give 20 i need to run every monday it should run every monday at 6 am days means this one one uh, zero means sunday monday means one so here what we will keep we will keep one and 6 am so here 6 will come up oh, sorry 6 am right hours means this one here 6 will come here zero will come and rest two are stars Got it right here because I need Monday. Monday means this one. Here one will come. Next six hours means here six will come. Exactly at zero means here zero will come. Got it right. One means Monday. Zero means Sunday. Every month, every month second. Every month second at eight a.m. so where what is the date okay we will come from left from right 8 am means here 8 will come second so here second will come okay let us see correct right here second will come because this is the day of the month so here second at what time 8 So exactly at eight. So zero. Need to run only on Wednesdays at one twenty. So for this, this is the syntax. Minutes, hours, Wednesday. Wednesday means Sunday zero, Monday one, Tuesday two, Wednesday three. So these are the few examples. In the next one, we will see. the important topic do i need to really remember the cron syntax no let us see how we can do that now let us see a very very important interview question that is explain about polycm and difference between build periodically this is very important interview question and it's very important topic okay where we will see the polycm we will see this okay this chrome this is one okay here we saw we saw up to now build periodically if you come here this is the polycm what is the main difference between these two polycm and build periodically we will see syntax wise both are 100% same syntax wise there is no even 1% change the same whatever the syntax we used in build periodically the same syntax we use in pol scm the same five stars the and even representation also same okay but in build periodically what will happen build periodically will not check any condition means it won't check any condition based on the trigger time it will clone and do the build it won't check any condition i will tell you so build periodically what i am doing 
we have source code management yeah we have that or we do one thing we just go over this one java from git configure go to source code management yeah correct and build triggers okay i'm just moving build periodically what i'm giving giving i need every minute means five stars save this let us see whether 212 will start or not if you if you see here 212 automatically triggered see just see the time after a minute definitely 213 will start even we can see this console 212 started by timer okay in a minute i mean uh, at around 49 some seconds 213 will also trigger automatically let us see that 49 213 also trigger if you see that did i change anything in the git did i change anything in the java project this is what we our uh, uh, git url right configure uh, source code management java project in this project in this project did i do any changes no last commit was four hours ago but still my build is running on the same code okay you got it right my build means all these builds are running on the same code example 209 tested same one okay whatever is there in 210 the same code is out whatever the code is there in 290 the same code not even one person change the same again it got built 211 again it got with the same code 212 same code 213 same 214 same see every minute it will trigger a build right it will it will compile the same code if it is compiling the same code the result also same got it right it is compiling it is running the same code means there is no change at all there is no change then if there is no change there is definitely there is no change in the code if there is no change then why why we need to build correct right why we need to build if there is no change in the code it is useless right no use at all correct right then why i need to build no need for that we use polysium here polysium what it will do it will check the repository if there is any change means from one build to another build from one build to another build if there is any change in the repository then only it will trigger a build if there is no change then no build if there is any change build all these are automatically only okay manually we won't do anything we'll just schedule that if there is any change it will trigger if there is no change no trigger in polysium what about build periodically build periodically will trigger all the time even though if there is a code if there is any change or if there is no any change it won't bother it will trigger the build this is the main important okay if there is no change in repository then there won't be any trigger we will see that okay now see it, it will keep on continue guys 1050 1051 1052 it will keep on go okay now see configure build triggers instead of build periodically what i will do polysium here also i will give the same stars means every minute it will go and it will check the repository every minute it will go and check the repository if there is any change in the repository then only 
if there is any change then only build will trigger if there is no change no build okay va apply now to save okay okay this got executed because uh, by that time we change right that was at that time build periodically now let us see 218 will trigger or not okay meanwhile what we do we will check this both are important now the question is polysem has much advantages right when compare with build periodically then why that option is there why can't we choose polysem directly no even build period periodically also few advantages example on friday evening like uh, saturday and sunday is long weekend right so we will be on leave okay polysem what it will do it will do a build example there was a change at 6 pm build got triggered and it got failed okay after that no no builds will happen because there is no change we, we can no one will work monday morning we came to office definitely weekends we would have got some mails we will ignore the failure mail because polysem it will run only once and it got failed since we can right we that mail goes into 50 or 60 uh, old one like after that we can we will we might get 10 to 20 mails so we will check first 10 and we will ignore that one means we are ignoring the errors there is a chance that we are ignoring the errors but what will happen in that case build periodically every time every hour or every minute it will run so don't uh, not 10 i can say hundreds of mails will be there if it is triggered at every hour then 24 24 48 around 50 failure mails then we will see and we will react fast correct right in this case which is the advantage build periodically is the advantage so based on the situation we will change it doesn't mean that this was this is the very important i need to go only polysem it is wrong build periodically also have some advantages see guys there is no build trigger right 1053 1055 normally every minute it used to trigger now it didn't trigger why because there is no any change now what we will do we will edit this okay i'm just saying checking bell trigger commit changes you just remember this oh, java github what is the bill number 217 okay okay now our code got committed now let us see 218 how it will come we will wait it we need to wait guys uh, definitely one minute we have to meanwhile i hope you got understand like what is the major difference between build periodically and policy uh if you have any doubts still further you can uh, uh, ask me see 218 automatically triggered automatically automatically it is getting start we didn't do anything okay we long back change to polysem but in between it not triggered why because there is no change now in 218 there is a change because of that if you see here it is started by scm change scm means source code management it is a change in the repository see for 217 it won't uh, for 217 it won't be like this see it will simple start by timer there is no because it is started by timer whereas in 218 it is saying there is a scm change source code management means gate okay see you got it right this is the main difference between build periodically and polysem thank you now let us see how to trigger a builds based on the different time zone in the previous 2 to 3 classes we have seen 
what is built periodically, what is polysium and the cron syntax. What if if I give five stars, it will run every minute. On which time zone? As of now, if you observe that, it ran on Indian Standard Time. Why it ran only on Indian Standard Time? Why why can't why it didn't run in the different time zone? Because Jenkins is installed in India. Like whatever I am explaining, this Jenkins it is in, installed in India zone. Because of this, it will pick IST. If it is installed in some other location, based on that that time zone, it will take. Got it right? Why it has taken the India IST time? Because it is installed in India. Okay. But sometimes, but sometimes what we would have required, we need to run. We need to run the jobs based on the different time zone. Okay. Example. What if, if I give like this, it will run exactly at 11 a.m. IST. Okay. If I give like this, what will happen? It will run exactly at 11 a.m. IST because Jenkins is installed in India time zone. But I want to run. I want to run in 11 a.m. US Alaska time. I should not change my Jenkins because I should have run the Jenkins job. I should not change my Jenkins server. Jenkins server should be in the same location, same zone. I won't change the server, but it has to run the Alaska time. If I give five stars, if I give the like this, then it will run IST, but it should not run IST. It has to run based on the Alaska time. How? We will see now. We need to give like this in build periodically or policium. Under this, we need to give TZ. TZ means time zone. We need to give US slash Alaska. Whatever the time zone we need, we need to give like this. Before that, the same syntax. Now, it, instead of IST, what it will do? It will run in the US Alaska time. Got it right? We will see. Okay. Now, we will take some other example. We got bored with this job. Okay. We will take git job. Go to the configure. Build triggers. Okay. See, uh, I'm just applying that. Okay. Next run is at what time? Would next run at Tuesday 11. Correct, right? Because I'm giving build periodically 11. Zero means every day at 11. So today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday. At what time it will run? Exactly at 11. 33 a.m. IST. If you see this, 11 a 11 a.m. IST. This is second case. That's fine. But our time is 11 0 0. Now, I need to run 11 in Alaska time. Okay. What I need to give? TZ equal to time zone equal to US slash A L A S K A. Okay, just apply. If you see, what is this? Okay, I'm just, again, I will show you. Just cut this. See, I'm just applying this. See, it is 11, exactly right, 11 IST. Now, it what it will become? Did I change the cron syntax? No, I just changed the time zone. Now, see. 1230. 1230 IST. Yes, that is means 11 o'clock in Alaska. You got it right? This how we need we can run in the different time zone. Now, how come I can I know like what are the different time zones it is available? Just click on this schedule question mark. If you come down, you will have all this one. All these are like different different time zones. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, build triggers. Oh, it got changed now. Okay, that's fine. Okay.
got it right all these are like different different time zones in this way we will run our jobs based on the different time zones thank you hello welcome back in the last two classes we have seen what is the use of build periodically also we saw the cron syntax we also seen few questions on the cron syntax like there would be five stars and each star represent each time span but the question is do i need to really remember the cron syntax see it's good to have good to remember but we don't need to remember exact time we don't need to remember exact syntax then who will set the time okay it will be good to know definitely like remember anything is good to know but no need to study for hours and remember the syntax because this is not that much useful we know we have to know the time but no need to spend some hours and mug up each and every star every time span for that okay i don't want to learn but how i can schedule a time using this site we have a site called cron tab guru okay let us see how we can use this okay this is the site cron tab guru the same site cron tab guru i just clicked here it came here here whatever you type here just that's fine whatever you okay i will open in chrome some disturbance here right okay whatever we give here it will represent here see minute hour day month week i want uh, at 11 okay this is our see it is getting highlight i want at 11 okay so 11 5 it will trigger i want 0 what time 11 uh, i will say 2 here what it will be see at 11 on tuesday i want to give 6 at 11 on saturday okay what if we here if i give to see at 11 on day of month 2 and on saturday here if i give 3 if i give to then 11 day of month 2 and on saturday in february because 2 1 means january 2 means fib and if i give to all it will be december see we will come to know right okay june first i need okay when i need june first okay month june is 6 uh what at what time one okay this i don't need just give star at what time 11 exactly 11 see correct right june first at 11 this is very simple you don't need to do anything we just make a note and type here automatically for reference we will get the above line and he, below is the syntax just copy this and paste wherever you want in notepad uh, i'm just copying here okay this is the syntax okay we can copy the same in the cron tab this is the syntax and we can copy directly in the cron tab we can directly copy like configure where it will be inside the build triggers go to the build triggers build periodically and give this okay play okay so in this way we can get the cron tab or cron syntax easily thank you now let us see why we need to restrict a name while creating a job assume that as as of now i don't have any restriction on the project name then we don't have the control on any project name which we create correct right 
we don't have any controls means there is no restriction in the project creation then teams will give whatever name they like like uh, a b c hello 1 2 3 testing 1 testing 2 testing 3 it will go but we don't know like this job belongs to which team in this case few companies what they will do right they will restrict the project name while creating i won't say all the companies but few companies few companies they will use this option like their pro their job name should start with some pattern like a team name or project name it has to start with that okay good how to restrict this we need to restrict in manage jenkins and configure system see this is not a single job right this is like global settings means where we need to go inside the configure system and which option we need to choose restrict project naming we go to the jenkins if you see i have few two jobs hello and hi okay now i want to restrict like this manage jenkins and uh, go to the system system configuration here which option we need to choose restrict project naming just search where it is yeah here it is restrict project naming so select this by default default will be there means anyone can create any job there is no restriction you want to see i will show again see new item i am give, giving name as uh, 1 2 3 yes it will take because it is default default means anyone can do anything but i want to change this okay okay how i want to change this i will remove this one what we name we will give uh, example i want to my project name or job name should be mhr so the same i am giving here just leave description as of now we will see what is the use of this okay now i'm just saving this saved what my project name should be mhr let us see whether i can create a, a job apart from this name okay new item okay what name i need to give i need to give uh, hi one hi one see hi one means this is the job name the same job name it will come here see the same job name it will come here does not match the job name job name convention pattern means here what name we have given we are given mhr the same it is showing here boss you are giving different name but according to me your project name should be like this we can't create guys we can't create any job see even it is not able to create what name i need to choose i need to choose only m h r see now it gone right if i remove that if i give you some other name it will come if you give exact name it will it will go if i give different name it will come you got it right okay what if if i give description here this description will replace the default message this is the default message if you give description what will come our description will come description will replace this message we want to see we will show give the name name give the job name as m h r okay okay now see give hello or one two see give the job name as m h r that what we are given right yeah. so description will replace the default value so what name what name i need to give now i need to give only m h r see now we can able to create now i can able to create a job okay done you can save this so you got it right how we can restrict a project name while creating thank you we have some more uh, examples on this 
that we will discuss in the next class thank you in the previous class we saw how we can restrict a project name while creating a job okay we saw with an example mhr but here i have a problem what is that problem okay i am seeing like what what i have given in the restriction of system and uh, okay so here i am giving my project name should be mhp it is not it has to start with mhp it should, it is like it should be it should be mhp okay already i have mhp i need the second one i need another job then what i need to do i can't create i can't create apart from M mhp but it is already there mhp okay now i need to create ci cd what i can do i can't create from here so to do this i need to come again here again i need to change the pattern apply and come here new item now i need to create fci cd it is allow okay now my project should start with ci cd followed by some other or i want to create project for other team what i need to do i need to come again here and again i need to edit do you think in real time it is possible each and every time i need to come to manage jenkins configure system i need to edit here and also create that that same name here no it is not possible it is not at all possible so because of that what we do we use regular expression see that what we discussed with mhr we can create only one job if you want to create any another job then we need to edit the pattern name again it is not at all possible we can't do this every time so that we can use regular expression regular expression indicates this one this means my project name should start with mhr after that followed by any character and any number of characters this means it should start with mhr okay no problem but after that we can extend our job name okay after that we can extend our job name this dot star indicates that we will see that okay manage jenkins what i am doing i am doing dot star means it should start with ci cd followed by any character apply let us see that new item see see apart from cicd it should not start if i give blah 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 it should not start okay i will give i will remove the description okay see now i can give dev I'm just giving dev what it will say dev doesn't match uh, matter the convention it doesn't match the pattern okay so i can give say cd space dev because it is correct it is following the condition any name we can give but it should start with cd not even cic i can't give like this because it is not starting with cd correct right it is not starting with cic this is cicd okay like this i can give i can give any name after this but it is cicd got it right in this way we can give that okay let us see what else is possible okay now here now it is working fine good but with this i can create a jobs that starts only with ci cd got it right with this i can create a jobs that starts only with ci cd but i need the job can start with ci cd or mhb the project name should start with ci cd or it can be mhb okay we will see how it is possible okay with this we need to give in this format okay we need to give in this format let us create that okay this is pipe symbol guys 
this is pipe symbol okay pattern we need to use this brackets pattern dot star space pipe space another team name dot star it's simple very simple okay okay now what i will do it should be this one okay pipe okay i can say mhb dot star okay okay i won't save but i just want to show whether i can create a job with mhb mhb no it won't start because it is saying says it as expected okay now i am saving this okay now let us see whether this is possible or not mhb the pattern is correct right pipe correct okay i'm just copying dot star okay okay uh, i given space i think that is the issue space should not be there okay then let us try this apply mhp see now it is working now my project name space should not be there guys sorry for that my project name can start with cicd or mhb correct like this we can give but it should be stuck and if you want to start some other name then we need to give in another pipe symbol has shown here okay this how we can give the regular expressions thank you hello welcome back our next question is how to display or pass information to all jenkins users from jenkins dashboard generally what type of information we will pass and we will display is company logo sometimes we will display our company logo in jenkins dashboard and if i have restart the jenkins on so and so date or we have any jenkins upgrade or we are expecting the jenkins to be down for so and so reason with this the developers will plan accordingly like if they have any releases or any deployments on so and so date they will postpone or they will pre plan pre plan their plan okay how many ways we have there are two ways we can give or we can pass this information one is with the add description up option from jenkins dashboard and the other one is with the help of manage jenkins and configure system and system message now we will see both options this is my jenkins dashboard and we have add description option here just click on here and say just say we have we can pass any message here we have jenkins upgrade on wednesday okay just save this if you see it is clearly said if you come to dashboard in the home page itself we are able to see now any developer who log in the jenkins they can see this message okay this is one way and the other way is manage jenkins and go to the configure system and here we will have system message here we can give any any message or i'm just saying welcome to our company name okay welcome to 
I'm just displaying my company name as ABCs Jenkins homepage. Just save this. Okay, if you see, welcome to we have both messages. We can use both messages at same time, or we can use only this option alone, or we can use only this option. And the message which we gave from system message, we can't edit here. Okay, if you want to edit the above message, then we have to go to the manage Jenkins and system message. And if you want to edit here, then we need to edit from here only. Okay, if you want to edit, you can edit from here itself. Okay, with this, we can display the message on the Jenkins dashboard. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. Our next question is how to add HTML tags in description. Like HTML tags are very useful to display our plain text in some different format. Like I want to insert in bold letters, italic letters, or I want to print in some red color or any other color. We can use HTML tags. And HTML is very simple and we can anyone can use that. And we don't need to learn that. Just go to the Google and say uh, HTML tags. Okay. The best one I prefer is double three schools because it is very simple. Okay. Just copy this code. And no need to give header and footer. Like these are like headers and these are called footers. No need to give. You just copy the center line. Go to here, edit description and in the new line, just copy this and save this. This is valid one, but still it is, we are not able to see the code in required format because for this we need to do two steps. First step is we need to install HTML5 plugin and second one is we need to do one configuration change. The configuration change we need to do is First is we need to install the plugin. That is the first step. Second step is this one. But I will show you one difference. Okay. Manage Jenkins and come here and click on configure global security. If you see here, markup formatter, it's in plain test. Correct. We need to change to HTML. But we are not seeing that option here because we noted installed HTML5 plugin. So what the first step is, we need to install HTML5 plugin. So to install plugin, manage Jenkins and click on manage plugins. Here click on available and HTML5. Yes. And install. Okay, we will be back once the uh, plugin successfully installed and once it got restarted. Now the plugin got successfully installed and it got also restarted. I'm entering my credentials. Okay, now the first step has completed, but still, if you see, it's still in the same way. So now we need to do the second step. Manage Jenkins and what we need to do configure global security. If you remember previously we saw we have only one message like plain text even drop down also there is no other option. We have only plain text. Now we have safe HTML because we installed the plugin. Just click on the save option. Now come to the Jenkins dashboard. If you see now it is displaying in the HTML format. Even if you edit this and you can copy this. And you can just say H5, I can say. Okay. You can pass any information here. I'm just giving an example. Okay, see this is H1. H1 means 
little bit header one the h5 means header five so little bit small okay even the same message we can give in the system message got it right so to in to use html tags we need to do two step hello welcome back our next questions are how to add text in color like in the description how we can highlight the text in color and how to add points like bullet points or numbers to our description we will see how we can do this so the same edit description if you see this is my message hello all we have jenkins upgrade on wednesday so jenkins will be down during this time this text alone i want to print in some red color we will see how to do that the same open google and say html text in color w3 schools if you see we have this one write yourself and this is the message which i need okay just copy this go to our jenkins dashboard edit description and where we need this part we need okay just remove this and our content and close this tag okay now save this if you see hello all Jen we have jenkins upgrade on wednesday so jenkins will be down during this time so whenever the developer comes when now whenever the developers login into the jenkins dashboard he can able to see this message and he can plan the releases or deployments accordingly so this way we can add a text in the red color and we can use any color like a blue orange or any color we can give that now let us see how to add text in a points okay so search as html text in bullet points okay go to the double three schools okay if you see ul means unordered list okay means it will come in a bullet points ol means ordered list it will come in a points like one two etc okay i'm just copying this come to here edit description and just paste it here and order list means it will display in the form of numbers okay uh, here you can say jenkins or you can give the points like uh, uh, jenkins upgrade planned on uh, so and so date and uh, you can see downtime we can give so much information like this okay and we can say restart on so and so date etc like this we can give the information i'm just copying this this is in on order list i will copy the same content in order list let's see how it will display okay save this if you see it came in the points like we said right on order list will be in some bullet points and order list will be in form of numbers okay this way we can give our description in the form of color or in the form of points thank you now hello welcome back up to now we saw a global level description so whenever whoever log into the jenkins they can see the common message but my requirement is i need to give description at job level means 
who created that job what is the purpose and which branch i need to select if i run manually okay all this information like specific to job we can't give in global level because we have 100 jobs and each if you give 100 messages in global then only we can see the messages but not the builds so for this purpose if you want to give any job level description what we need to do we need to enter into that job okay we will see how we can do that okay so our question is how to add job level description so since this is a job level description go to the job this is like global level but we are giving the job level so go into the job add description and the same html will work here so same format i just copied before i'm just pasting here so what is this information say who created this job and if i want to contact then whom i need to contact and if i run manually then which branch i need to select by default select develop branch i can say by default select develop branch just saving this okay yeah see if any new employee joined into our company then he can able to easily understand the purpose of this job no need to give separate kt for each and every job so whenever he opens he sees that okay john has created this and if i want to contact i can contact directly to him and if i want to run manually then which branch i need to select I need to select develop branch so all this information we can easily pass to the developers thank you now let us see what is the use of build customized description option in job configuration where we will see this option in job configuration and what is the use of that we will see this will give the description to the build number okay if you want to give any description like as of now we saw jenkins level description and uh, project level description but now we can give description to the build number how using build customized description of option this is very important guys this will not applicable to the builds which are already completed assume that i completed two to three builds and after that i added description then the first three builds it won't get from where assume that from fourth we added this description so from where this message will come from fourth build okay we need to choose this option customized build description okay we will see that i'm creating a new item freestyle and say i can say build customized okay um, in the build section i will just give echo okay save build now i will just uh, execute three builds one completed two yeah and third one see are we seeing any description to the builds no we are not seeing any description okay now we will see this customized build description assume that we are giving from now this builds will be used by QA means assume that developers they completed their work now from fourth QA is handling these builds I want to give that as a message okay build now see we got it right from now this builds will be ha will be used by QA means by seeing this also we can confirm okay QA is using these builds and first three this message message is not came because after third build only we given this message so from fourth it will come okay if we come if we run again fifth also it will come 
like after 10 to 12 bills like once a QA is done then we can change the description okay now we need to see one more option go to the bill section directly and I am running this job for 30 seconds let's I will show you we need to show one more option okay I am executing this bill see while the bill is running see sixth bill is already in progress and it is running at that time also I am seeing this message but I should not see that message means when the build is running I should not see this message when I need to see only after completion of the build means once the running build is complete then only I need to see this option we will see how that will do okay go to the configure under customized build description there is one option insert when build finish means insert this message when the build got finished while the build is in progress then don't print this print only after build completes we saw the sixth one right this message was there even the build is in progress now we will see whether that option will come out not build now see are we seeing that message no when it will get only after completion of the seventh build we will wait now the seventh build got completed after completion only we are seeing this message we got it right in this way we can give the description okay yes we want this option message will appear only after build completion then we need to select this thank you now let us see how to change the bill number or instead of bill number how we can give a name using edit bill information okay if you remembered in the earlier session we discussed we already discussed this option edit bill information what is the use of this to give a description to the completed jobs at the time if you remembered I said don't give any name in the display name like what will happen if you give a name in the display name it will replace it will replace the build number okay and whatever we are changing the build number or whatever we are changing the build name it will applicable only in the front end back end Jenkins will store the name as usual means Jenkins will use the build number as usual okay okay we will see that we will see much in the description if you see dev build okay if you run the job then what will happen the 32 will come okay I am giving this as an option okay this don't don't delete this bill okay also give it description save now what will happen the 32 bill will not be there if you see here after 31 what I given don't delete this bill so whether 32 is there no it is good to replace if you run it again then 31 32 will come or 33 definitely 33 because we are changing only in the front end back end how Jenkins is stored this as a 32 only if you run it again then 33 will come okay you got it right this way we can change the build number thank you now let us see what is the use of edit build information in the previous session we discussed about the build customized description but here if you see uh, there are one to one or two disadvantages the first one is we can't give description to the completed jobs correct right like assume that we have created a fourth build then one two three build numbers we can't give this message and the second disadvantage is, is the same message 
whatever the message we give at the fourth build the same message will applicable to the next coming builds like four five etc but i don't need this what i need to do i need to go and edit the specific build number means even it is a one first build or second build i need to edit that how we can do we can use the option called edit build information what this will do this this option is used to give the description to the specific build number okay don't give anything in the display name okay we will see why it is since this is a build number configuration so we can give this description only to the completed or running jobs see upcoming builds we can't get the number so we can't enter into that hence we won't see this option where we will see this option whether it is completed or whether it is in progress then only we can see this option okay we'll see here dashboard we'll create a new one we will see edit we'll give this name edit build info build info okay okay since build that option will not be here because we don't have any completed builds okay i'm just saying let go hi save this see whether i'm seeing this option no because we don't have any builds okay i'm just triggering a build okay one more okay yeah now go to the any build number i'm selecting second one here if you see here edit build information i'm saying this is for qa i'm not giving any name in the display name i'm just giving in the description we will see in the next class what if if we give any name okay as of now just leave it as a blank and give here save come here if you see this is for qa if you run again then that message will not be there for this build number because this is this we can give only to the specific build numbers if you want to give this to this come here and give the message like uh, this is for dev okay save and run it again we got it right this is for dev if you run it again then again there won't be any message and the same message i can give to this number also like i'm just copying this and i'm giving the same message here nothing will happen it will take okay see in this how we can give a description every time to a specific build number and like little advantage is, is this is even we can give to any build number there is no restriction but the disadvantage is each and every build we need to go and we need to enter this message okay thank you hello welcome back our next question is how to add picture on the page as of now we saw the description in different formats like uh, we can give in bold color in italic or we can give in the red color but instead of this description i need to put an image like here if you see i am given in the red color like this job configuration is still in progress so this job configuration is not yet completed so instead of this message i can show a picture like uh, uh, an image like where man is working okay now we will see how to do that 
for this we need to use a tag called image source equal to address of that image and alt alt is like some name to that picture okay we will see how this we can do this we will choose the same job go to the configure and i'm just removing this the syntax is image src source equal to and alt equal to i'm just giving hello we will see what will happen save see this alt is like in just name of an image since the image we didn't give the address so it is in break state now we will see how to give the address okay i'm start i'm just typing as work in progress page okay i am choosing this click the image here and the image will open here now give the right click on this image copy the image address now go to our jenkins configuration job configuration click on configure and in between these quotes we need to give that address okay now save this after save whatever the image address we give it will be appear here got it right so in this way we need to give the image in a page hello welcome back our next question is what is build executor status where we see this we see this in our jenkins dashboard what is this actually it is a list of the servers like we can call in some organization it will call node servers or slave or build servers where jenkins uses to run the jobs if you configure slave machines it will come here since we have only one server that is master so we are seeing only one details if no name here then that means it is a master okay by default we have two executors means it will jenkins will run only two jobs in this server if we run three it won't take it first it will run first two after completion then only it will start the third one can we change this number yes we can change now see we see in the dashboard i have two jobs here if you see by default it has two list okay what i am doing i am running these two jobs build now it will run 75 seconds and also here i am running this build now okay see it is running if i run this what will happen we will see in the next one thank you our next question is what is build queue in the previous session we saw build execute by default what is the number it's two means only two jobs jenkins will run at same time but what if if i run third one whether jenkins will take or not if it takes then where it will get the first question is yes jenkins will take that request but since it doesn't have any place to run what it will do it will keep in the queue okay so what is a build queue it's a waiting line for jobs before execution if no executor available then all the builds will go into the queue you, you execute any jobs any number of jobs all request will take by jenkins but where it will keep it will keep in the build queue so what is build queue if build ex exceeds the build executor limit in our case 2 then jenkins can't run the new jobs correct because it doesn't have place to run now jenkins will keep these builds in queue so whatever it we run after that it will keep in queue so once run once the running build completes then one by one from build queue builds will start we will see in the demo if you see everything is green so build queue also clean 
now i am running this job build now it will go here because it got place now am i running one more it got it is running because they have place now what if if i run again because there is no place at all it will go to the this one if i run again new one what it will go see it's taking all the inputs but where it will keep it will keep the it will keep in build queue once any of this build completes then which will start the first one it went into the queue whichever the build whichever the job went into the queue first it will run first you got it right now once any job completes first then it will run here okay if it got place like one or two then this job will also execute now you got it right what is the use of build queue and what is the use of build execute in most of the case what developers will complain you know i committed my code but build is not required why because at the time where the build will be it will be in the build queue option got it right now let us see what are the advantages of such option in jenkins here we have around 10 jobs but if you go to the real time there may be more than 200 or 300 jobs or sometimes 500 jobs will be there at that time we can't go and every time we can't scroll it down if you remember the name what we will do normally search option control f if you want to go i can type here and it will show like what are the jobs like three are there okay one two three okay okay assume that now i need to go to the test one job i just type here and then i need to go to this and i need to select see two way two steps i am doing one is searching and after that i am going into that job and i am clicking there okay this option is already there by default everywhere we can see the control f option but why again jenkins give the search option because these have advantages when compared with control f like we will see what are those okay we can search and can directly enter into the job okay this is not possible with control f yes I want to enter into this then what i need to do test one and i need to click here correct this is not need if, it, if i want to enter into this test one just give test one and just say enter see i directly entered into the job so if i want to do enter into dev build dev build i'm just here and just enter I can directly enter into that job okay next and the second advantage is we can search with full name or with partial name okay i want to search with dev see now i have two names new dev here and dev build okay i can enter into any one of this okay next advantage is even we can search with the build number and can directly enter into that build number page see if i know the build number of dev build uh, example what is the build number okay i want to go into the 26 okay directly i need to go into the 26 build number then we can do that if you see we can search with the build number and can directly enter into the build number page okay what is the syntax for that just job name and build number okay job name is dev build dev build and the build number i need to enter is 26 so give a space and just give 26 see directly i entered into the 26 build number no need to go again build num build uh, page and click on 26 in one shot i am going into the build number okay the next advantage is 
we can directly enter into the console of the build number see normally what we do put to the, if i want to go to the 26 console select the build number fun time and select again 26 here we have entered but here with the search option we can directly enter he, enter into here dev build who we need to enter 26 definitely we need to give to the build number and after that what we need to give we need to give console okay and console see directly i entered into the console output got it right next what is the another advantage we can enter into the lost failure directly we can enter into the lost failure or success or unstable anywhere we can enter into that okay go to here just say dev build i'm into the root one okay dev build and say lost if you see if you if you give la it will give the complete option where you need to enter lost stable build lost fail lost unstable lost completed lost successful or lost unsuccessful build if i want to enter into the successful build just say enter see directly i am entering into the lost successful build even in the same way i can enter into the lost failure build okay dev build Lost fail build. See, lost fail build is 24. And now I need to enter into the console as well. Then I think that is our next one. Yeah, even we can enter into the console one. So go to here, type the job name, dev build. Okay. Lost successful build and write console okay see so these are the advantages of search option our next question is what is the difference between save and apply option where we will see this option okay if you see if you come here if you click on any job configure okay i'm just saving hello if you see here we have two options in the job configuration once we do edit then we have two options one is save and one is apply what are the difference between these two okay we will see both are absolutely same then why there are two options yes what save will do will save the configuration changes and will come out of the configuration page means i i change i made some changes and i and i am selecting save option what this will do it will save the changes and it will come out the configuration okay but what apply will do what apply will do is will save the configuration changes and will land in the same page means configure and i'm selecting hello hi what save will do it will save these changes and it will go from out of this page but what apply will do this will also save the changes if you see it is changes got saved but here it will wait on the same configuration page okay and when we we need to use which option if you are done all your configuration changes then you can go for save means you are done with all the configuration changes like you added a description you added parameters and you added commands everything you are done then you can go for save but if you have still more changes to do and you want to test each and every time you got it right if you have few other changes to do I need to test the changes then select the apply option 
okay means configure I'm doing one more change um, I'm just saying Jenkins and I want to test this and I have one more to do in the script okay so two to three changes I need to do but I need to test each and every change whether it is coming or not then don't go for the save option because if you select the save option it will come back again we need to click on the configure instead of that select the apply option okay now I'm just opening here in parallel if you see Jenkins I got okay it got success I'm landing in the same page come here say just say hello just say apply come here and I, I, I'm testing that whether the uh, my change hello is coming or not okay 29 console yeah hi hello is coming okay mm. and then I'm just keeping some 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 changes okay and just applying okay and again I'm doing a build console output yeah everything is coming so I'm making the I'm making the final change the final change would be this one and this one okay now I can choose for save both will save the changes but save what save will do it will save the changes and it will come out of the configuration but what apply will do it will save the changes but it will wait in the same page for the next changes if you are done with all the changes then click on the save option I can see the difference this is the main difference between save and apply option hello welcome back our next question is explain about Jenkins home directory this is one of the uh, common and important interview question now let us see what is this actually mean Jenkins home directory is a place where all our information like the jobs that we created the plugins that we installed logs workspace everything will be stored physically in the file system means it will store in one server so that path we call it as Jenkins home directory by default this information will be stored in a variable called Jenkins underscore home this is a Jenkins variable we can also see this value in manage Jenkins configure system and here we can see under home directory we can also see in manage Jenkins and system information now we will see what is that path it contains okay I'm coming to this one so click on manage Jenkins what is that path manage Jenkins and configure system yeah manage Jenkins and click on configure system now if you see here we said right it will be under home directory so under home directory what is this path it is C program data Jenkins dot Jenkins so inside C drive we have program data inside program data we have Jenkins inside Jenkins we have dot Jenkins so this is the location where all our information will get stored we can also see in manage Jenkins and system information the same information should be there okay what we said manage Jenkins and system information here we will search for um, home yeah Java home we have user yeah if you see here the same data see 
inside that program state program data inside that Jenkins inside that dot Jenkins. Now let us see what this folder contains. Okay, I'm just copying this path. Control C, Windows R, and here I am entering directly into this. See, these are the folders that got created. If you see here, the jobs folder indicates the jobs that we created. See, these are the jobs that we created in Jenkins. And uh, uh, these are the plugins folder, means these many plugins we got installed. Okay, every information it will be stored in the physical way. Where it will store? It will store in this path. Okay, can I print this path? Assume that I don't have access to see all this. I just want to print this value. Can I do that? Yes, we can print that value also. Okay. In the build, we can print the value using this path. Okay. In the form of this, we can print the value of what is there in the Jenkins home. See, the Jenkins home is a variable, correct? We want to print the value inside the Jenkins home. How to print that? Using this syntax. Okay, now let us see that. I'm just copying this part. Okay, I'm taking this variable name. If I print this variable, then what is the value it should print? It should print this one. Now let us see whether we can print that or not. I'm just creating new job. I'm just saying Jenkins home. Yeah, it's a freestyle. Correct. I, okay. Now, where we need to go? We need to print in any uh, Windows command. Okay. In the build section, we will print this. Okay. Go to directly build. Yes. Execute Windows batch command. Correct. Echo. Okay. This is the syntax, right? Yes, this is the syntax. Or we can print like this. Echo. Jenkins. Home. Is. Okay, we will print in this way. Save. And click on build now. Okay, completed. Let us see whether it is printed or not. Yeah. If you see here, this is the path. It is printing echo. See, we give what we given, we given. Uh, percentage and Jenkins home but what it is printed it is printed the same value that is there here okay what the, that is there in the Jenkins home see program data Jenkins dot Jenkins see programs data Jenkins dot Jenkins now we got right what is the Jenkins home and what it will contains on how to print that value okay thank you our next question is how to enable an audio on build status. As of now, how we come to know whether the build is success or failure? By using this icon. If green tick mark, then it means build is success. If red X mark, then the last build is failure. But additional to this, I need a sound notification. If build fails, then I need to get some different sound notification. If success, then I need to get as different sound notification. So based on the sound notification, I can able to say whether the build is success or failure. We will see how to do that. Before that, just observe here, as of now, we have only three options. Enable notifications, REST API and Jenkins version. So we have only three options here. Just remember this. And to get a sound notification, we need to install a plugin. So to install plugin, you will go manage Jenkins and manage plugins and click on available 
and the plugin is HTML audio. So you just search with audio. This is the plugin. Okay, we will come back once the plugin got successfully installed and after restart. Now the plugin got successfully installed. Also, we restarted the Jenkins. If you scroll down, we got a new option called enable. We got this after installing the plugin. Once we install the plugin, we need to do one more configuration change. So when I Jenkins configure system here, search for audio. Okay. Yes, we have enabled these two options and we can give different sounds for different build status. If success, then what URL we need to give. If failure, then what one. And if it is success after failure, then which one we can give. Okay. All this we can able to give here. Even we can select from online. Like go to Google. What is the extension dot wav file. Online. Wav file for testing. Okay. I'm just selecting this. I'm just giving this band 3 for successful one. Copy this URL. Copy this URL and give it here. Okay. So for success, I'm giving this. Even we can test it. Let's test this. Okay. Complete. I'm just removing this. And for failure, uh, I'm giving Star Wars. Okay. Copy this URL and and sorry. Copy and paste it. See for success some band three. For failures, Star Wars. I'm just testing. Okay. Save this. Now we will execute a successful build first. Run. Okay. We got a build notification as a sound. Next we will test for failure one. Okay, we got failure not sound notification as well. So this how we will install. So this how we will enable the audio notifier for build status. Our next question is how to enable an audio on build status. As of now, how we come to know whether the build is success or failure by using this icon. If green tick mark, then it means build is success. If red X mark, then the last build is failure. But additional to this, I need a sound notification. If build fails, then I need to get some different sound notification. If success, then I need to get as different sound notification. So based on the sound notification, I can able to say whether the build is success or failure. We will see how to do that. Before that, just observe here, as of now, we have only three options. Enable notifications, REST API and Jenkins version. So we have only three options here. Just remember this. And to get a sound notification, we need to install a plugin. So to install plugin, you will go manage Jenkins and manage plugins and click on available. And the plugin is HTML audio. So you just search with audio. This is the plugin okay we will come back once the plugin got successfully installed and after restart now the plugin got successfully installed also we restarted the Jenkins if you scroll down we got a new option called enable we got this after installing the plugin once we install the plugin we need to do one more configuration change so when I Jenkins configure system 
here search for audio okay yes we have enabled these two options and we can give different sounds for different build status if success then what url we need to give if failure then what one and if it is success after failure then which one we can give okay all this we can able to give here even we can select from online like go to google what is the extension dot wav file online wav file for testing okay i'm just selecting this i'm just giving this band 3 for successful one copy this url copy this url and give it here okay so for success i'm giving this even we can test it let test this okay complete i'm just removing this and for failure uh, i'm giving star wars okay. copy this url and and sorry copy and paste it see for success some band 3 for failures star wars i'm just testing okay save this now we will execute a successful build first run okay we got a build notification as a sound next we will test for failure one okay we got failure not sound notification as well so this how we will install so this how we will enable a audio notifier for build status now let's see what is the use of favorite plugin see there is a plugin called favorite and what are the uses of that we will see now we can't say like every company is using this but yeah majority of the companies are using this you will see what are the advantages of this this plugin allows you to mark a job as favorite assume that you have 100 or 200 jobs out of that you need only 5 or 10 jobs as then you can mark those 5 or 10 jobs as a favorite as your favorite jobs even you can sort the jobs with the favorite option we will see that okay if you see here we have only one two three four five six seven columns mostly correct now we will install the favorite plugin okay just remember we don't have any favorite plugin here and even we don't have any favorite option in the build okay no any favorite option now let us install that how to install plugin manage jenkins and manage plugins here click on available and select favorite yes we will be back like uh, once restart is completed now restart has been completed if you see we got new column name is favorite if you see i can mark any job as a favorite or i can remove any job as of now i mark dev build as a favorite even i can remove this so just one click we can add and we can remove now if i want to add this as my favorite then i can select this this is one way we can select as a favorite the another way is we can go into the build and now if you see this favorite icon even we can select from here okay come here 
see now this also i selected even we can sort our jobs based on the favorite see now all my favorites are in the top of the list or even i can put in the bottom see all my favorites went into the down another way we can sort our favorite jobs if i don't need this then i can remove this with this even i can see okay my favorite like my important jobs all are getting success yes so this is the one of the advantages of favorite thank you